Hello again. We're back with Larry, our patient. Uh, this is a, um, a rescue case for uh, uh, a local dentist. Uh, she referred uh, Larry to me, and uh, we have a couple of fractured metal screws. These are titanium screws versus uh, the previous um, uh, videos that we have done with IMZ, which have a lot of plastic components. So let's get right to it. Um, what we've done is we took every precaution to not use, you know, really the wrong instruments. You want to stay with blunt end instruments because you don't want to scratch any of the internal aspect of each one of these implants. You also want to be able to use a solvent that can go in there and be very small. So what we did was we selected a very um, narrow lumen to the syringe. So we just took one of our our uh, acid etch uh, syringe tips and we kind of jerry-rigged it to this um, 3cc syringe and we added a solvent material to that and that solvent uh, is acts as penetrating oil but it's not really an oil it's it's a true solvent and it's used to remove tartar and stain so there's a lot of tartar and bio burden that's located within the threads themselves and so instead of trying to force uh, a, a thread um, what we would like to do is dissolve what's in front of it and then it'll back out nice and easy so notice we did not slot um, anything in here we didn't use any heavy instruments we want to preserve excuse me all right we want to preserve the inside as much as it can and keep it from being marred or or, 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 uh, sc or scarred in any way once we remove this uh, see you see now how they're noticeably loose and they're starting to back out now so let's continue our treatment and we'll keep filming and, and until we get both out. So here we go. It's always counterclockwise, but it looks clockwise in the mirror. So counterclockwise. Yeah. Let me just Okay. And once we get it to this point, it's only going to be a small little piece, so we'll suction that up and and put it aside. Here it comes. Um, there we go. And you can just hitch a right on that. Coming out. Just, uh, you think it'd be any easier once it's above the the height of the implant? Oh, that way's tightening it. We want to go the other way. There we go. All right. It's a little hard to film through the mirror, but because I'm I'm still working with the um, threads going in a counterclockwise. You know, always lefty loosey, even in this world. There we go. Out it comes. Maybe one or two more threads to go. Maybe I can get those with my finger if I can go in there. Oh no, they're very small. Can't do it. Um, let's see. One more time. Well, then we'll use the cotton pliers. All right. One more time. We'll get that to just come right on out. I'm going to increase the mag. So everything's the opposite in my mind. So here it looks like I'm counterclockwise this thing. And that's exactly the, the direction. 
can see how it when, it when it fractured you see how that tip broke on the clockwise so where are we going counterclockwise just the opposite we're pretty fortunate this did not uh, come on it's coming uh, let's try a I don't want to introduce wax oh, oh here it comes here we go Um. Yeah, here it is. Okay. So now we'll pick it up with a pair of cotton pliers. Let's see. It still wants me to. Um, this is uh, fun when it gets to this point. So we'll use a different instrument. I'm going to use a, I'm even a more blunt end, see if I get a little better rotation, a little more contact here. So again, okay. I just play around, try to find out which instrument works best. I like the Explorer. Um, and you can see already there's four or five threads still unscrewing this case as a fifth thread coming up we may have six total underneath there it is okay now we'll just suction that with our tip good and we got it so we'll keep that piece Now I'm looking straight down, so I'm going to go ahead and add that fluid again. It's just so we can clean all the, the inside of this out completely. I'm probably wondering, what's he going to wear between now and Thursday? I, I have a backup. I've got something that he can wear, which would be great. And those are the impression coping, so we could at least give him something to, to use. Um, something in there to protect. I also have some... Um, some of my um, healing abutments as well. They can go in there and keep that tissue from closing in there. So I'm going to um, just right now, I'm going to leave that solution in there, let it soak, um, and let's just move on to the other one. All right. So I'm going to continue um, working here. I'll work for the next five, ten minutes on filming in, but after that, uh, we'll break. And I'm going to give Larry a little break too, and we're almost through. Um, all right, let's see how we can, yeah, there we go. And this is how we're backing this one out. This one's coming out nicely. We had a little tissue gingival complex growth around the uh, margins of the implant had the hex head, so we're We'll push that back. We've got retraction cord. We've got all kinds of stuff that we can use today before we um, put something in there for him. So this one's actually a, a lot easier to remove. So I'm glad for that. Um, let's go ahead and suction that. Let's see. Do we have it? Nope, not yet. Okay. All I'm using is a long explorer, and I got the end of it is pretty blunt, just to make surface contact. Now there's a flap of tissue in there. I don't want to slide this piece underneath, but let's just slowly coax this out. You feeling any of this, Larry, at all? No, he's good. Larry's been good to sit through this, and it's uh, a little complicated, but uh, you're, doing, you're steady as an arrow here. We're good. Uh, just, there we go. Coming. I always like to check. Am I still in focus with everything? 
That's how you do it. You get a microscope, you get a blunt instrument, and you don't panic. You just go in there and remove it and uh, talk to Darwin. He's up in, now he's moved from Attachments International to uh, Implants Direct, and he is doing a phenomenal job there. He always bailing me out of, of not knowing you know what parts to get. He, he's right on, usually right on with, with all the hard to find stuff, you know, the antique stuff that you need to so call Darwin, he's uh he's the go to there. If you can get him, sometimes he's really busy. All right. I'm sure the a lot of you have other techniques that's going through your mind right now that want to be able to, to do the same procedure. I don't like Cavitron tips unless I absolutely have to use them because there's always a chance of, of shredding a, thr a thread and the scope as well is so important to have a scope at your disposal. We use it just about for everything, including these real difficult cases. So um I'm sure there there's a need for this kind of treatment out there. Please don't feel free to call me, give me a give me a buzz. I'll coach you through the whole thing. We'll walk you right through it. Oh that one's a real long one. So we're gonna get this one out now. Let's see if we can get that suctioned up. Alright uh, actually I can grab that. Let me just grab it. Okay, so very nice. So that's it. We have successfully retrieved the two broken screws. And then, of course, we're going to clean the rest of this up. Um, really pleased with the outcome. And um, I'm going to just let it sit a little bit more now with this uh, tartar and stain remover. Um, and then I'm going to place some temporary abutments in there just overnight. So we see him Thursday, actually. Um, um, and it's a good plan to uh, to do that. Suction that. No. Okay. All right. So um, I'll show you the end of this segment in a little bit. Dr. Jerry Cuomo. Catch you next time. Thank you.